the lions and hyenas continue their battles, as if unhindered by the darkness. Once again, the lions have stolen the hyenas' kill, but they all appear to be able to see exactly what's going on. And when the lions go hunting, they do so just as they are. They wander off in the general direction of the sound of herds of animals. To the lions, the herds are almost invisible at any distance, just dull grey smears. But they can locate the grazers easily by sound and smell. Night is the only time that lions can approach undetected here on the short grass plains. You are about to see for the first time how and when the lions of the Serengeti catch most of their food. A Tommy dips his head to see whether or not he can see danger silhouetted against the sky. The circling lion is almost invisible. Bathed in infrared light, it stands out. Another Tommy can hear something and is off. The lion's game plan is always the same. Get close to the herds, then spread out. They don't need to make any effort to hide themselves. Only their footfalls give them away. And because they're unseen, lions are no longer at a disadvantage as they approach their quarry. Two young males take a small zebra with ease. A lioness gives chase. A high kick lets her quarry escape. Soon, two lions bring down a fine stallion. Sabre-sharp teeth and meat-hook claws bury themselves into 300 kilos of struggle. One lion grips the throat in a stranglehold, the other prepares to feed. Their ability to keep a grip on their prey in pitch darkness makes the kill possible. Everything the camera has disclosed comes together. The apparent competitors for the same food survive because there are times when one is more successful than the other. The animals hunt in different ways, by day and by night, and in differing light. These unique images show that the relationship between lions and hyenas is more complex than traditional pictures allow. The lions steal kills, and the so-called cowardly hyenas are often merely out to reclaim their prey. Don't say you've never seen a brave hyena. A thieving male lion is forced to take them on. The hyenas persist even though a single blow could be fatal. This frequent nighttime behavior has never been recorded before.
there's much more going on in the dark than people have realized. And there must be many more secrets still to be revealed. At dawn, the Maasai dismantled the thorns barricading the entries to their bomas. No lions or hyenas are to be seen outside. The killing fields of the night are transformed into places where cattle may safely graze. By day, everything is in the Maasai's favor. The cool of night and the light of the moon are ideal conditions for the hyena, a long distance runner. But the darkest nights belong to lions, which can rely on built-in weapons and brute force. The truer picture that has emerged applies by day as well. Hyenas can kill when lions are too conspicuous, and it's the lions that are the scavengers. In the end, they don't so much compete as coexist, hunting in different ways and at different times. In the centuries that the Maasai have dwelt on the plains, they too have found a way of treading lightly on the land. Now, Droughts and overpopulation bring challenges to their old ways. Within a decade, this cattle pasture will be covered with crops. Predators and herds will be gone, only preserved in the zoo-like national park. The warriors will step back into history, their culture bartered for bit parts in conservation and tourism. If the Maasai have a vital lesson to teach, it is that lions give meaning and purpose to their lives, worthy adversaries for warriors. Their spears are already being beaten into plowshares. A patchwork of fields is appearing. Soon, fences will spring up. Nature's carefully crafted balance of power will be upset, animals and people in conflict. The picture that emerges may be starker, but it is more realistic. <laughs>